What did you make of the president's speech, uh, the acceptance speech at the White House on Thursday night? Well, I think he, I think he covered all the bases. And, and the president has, who, who would want this job, to be honest with you? The last two weeks, we've seen the Democrats' convention. We see the Republicans' convention. Can you give us a compare and contrast? What have you seen from a faith perspective or a lack thereof? The Democrats um, are really, if anything, they are opposed to faith. Uh, when I say to them, there are, there are millions of Democrats in this country that are wonderful people. I'm, I'm talking about, my father was a Democrat, okay, all of his life. Uh, never switched parties. But uh, he saw the, the party that uh, he grew up in changing and uh, moving to the left, and that's what it's done. And so the, the Democratic Party today is a, a party of the left. Uh, it's a socialist party. They want socialism for this country. You are a straight shooter, for sure. What do you make of the debate going on in the church about those who will vote for uh, Trump and, and some who just can't get there based on what they call character issues? I, I know, for example, and you knew I would bring this up about uh, your, your daughter is very outspoken for the president. And then, of course, you have a niece who wrote a pretty scathing editorial. It's affected families, yours and, and mine and many others. Well, I, I understand people have different opinions in the evangelical community. I'm not a spokesman for them. Uh, I, I'm just, uh, just one person. Uh, and so there, there's a lot of opinions and ideas and views. And, and unfortunately, the people that don't know the president, uh, and some of them are, have negative views that they have, have, have gotten those views from a negative press uh, that, that, that is controlled by the socialists. And so they've kind of bought into that. And that, that's unfortunate. September 26th. I want you to talk about this rally here in Washington. I say a rally. It's really a prayer event. It's a prayer march. Tell me. And we're going to start uh, just right down the street here at the Lincoln Memorial and uh, come by the Washington Memorial right down here to the Capitol. And uh, I'm asking people to join me. We don't have any speakers. Uh, don't have uh, um, any stage or um, other people preaching or whatever. We're coming to pray. The only hope for this country is God. Uh, Donald Trump can't turn it around. Um, Biden uh, isn't going to turn it around. Uh, only God can do this, okay? And we need God's help. And uh, the Democrats have taken God pretty much out of, uh, out of government. And there's a lot of Republicans that won't take God out of government, a lot of them. Uh, but we just thank, I just thank God that we've got a president who's, who, who wants God. Uh, uh, not only in his administration, but he wants to see God, more of God here in, in Washington. It seems like we're at a real crossroads here. I know we've been at crossroads before, but what's going on here spiritually, especially as it relates to right now in our country? Well, the changes that, 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 are, are, that are the left want to make in taking us into socialism is going to affect the church. Uh, the, the government will, will begin to tell the church uh, how they can be the church. And they'll close the church down in many places. Uh, we see right now, uh, because of COVID, the government trying to tell the church that they cannot meet. And the Constitution gives us that freedom to do that. But because of COVID, they said, we can't meet. I have asked before about, has God put Trump in office for such a time as this? And there are many folks that believe, obviously, well, obviously he has. What happens if he loses? I think God brought him here for this season, uh, for these four years. I'm just asking that God would uh, spare this country for another four years to give us a, a little bit more time uh, to do the work before the storm hits. And I believe the storm is coming. And uh, we, you're going to see uh, Christians uh, attacked. You're going to see uh, churches closed. Uh, you're going to see a, a, a real hatred expressed toward people of faith. Uh, that's coming. And, and Jesus told us, he said, you will be hated uh, by all people because of me. And if we're going to stand for the name of Christ, the world will hate us. And, uh, and that's coming. It's like Trump is like trying to hold back what you're talking about here. Well, well first of all, uh, God uses uh, men. He works through men. Yeah. And I believe uh, Donald Trump is the president uh, for a reason. I think God has put him in this position. And he is. Uh, he, is uh, he is Western civilization as we have known it. Uh, he, is, he is defending that.